when you click here click hold and start to rotate it how do i add reference images in zbrush i'm gonna teach you how we do that let's go if you want to add image as a reference in zbrush you have to understand that every image that is imported to zbrush is as a texture here on the top you do have this texture panel then you just click here and then if you click in this big box it will pop up some images that you can already use or you can here import an image just for this example i will use this star i think it's a good beginning come here to this option which is called spotlight when you click here your image will appear here with these round tools that you can use them to manipulate your image it's not like photo editing but kind of like that we are not checking everything but i will show you two options which i think it's the most important one. First one is this icon which is the scale if you click hold and start to rotate it you see that your image will change the scale the next one is this one which is the opacity click and hold you will have more opacity or less opacity wherever you click in the screen outside of this round box it will move your image if you click inside it will move just this dial but then you're going to realize that while i you have this option on you cannot sculpt on your object everything you need to do is one press z wait there is one more thing you need to do you still cannot sculpt on your object come here to brush panel then you go to sand pose spotlight projection then you just disable this option now you can happily sculpt on your mesh while you have the reference image now if you want the image to go out of the screen you press shift z if you want it to come back shift z again if you want the dial to come back you press just z and then you press z again to go back to the sculpting mode and this is how you add reference image in your z brush got you once again